Tema David I go going going gone split bill and split dumb they not together. Another one buys the dust. They both look good. Both have gone a lot. Tema Braxton and David. Uh, Tema is now once in the single market. She's here seen with her ex hubby Vince. With her beautiful son and her ex at an award party. She was a presenter on The Real, a daytime TV show. Tema and her co-host on The Real on stage. They won so many awards. They've done very, very well. They worked so hard. She was given an unexpected boot from the show in which her husband, her ex-husband Vince, was also a producer, so they both lost some sorts of income. David has treated um Tema like a queen, has taken her to Africa, treated her son like his own son. I mean, everybody could see the love David had for Tema, but I think Tema needs to go into therapy to sort herself out. She has so many demons. I think this is her thought. She's been divorced twice, and uh, here they will speak. And she, uh, to overcome that, she wrote, uh, she created a, a movement, uh, a website called No Need to Be Shame. And it was for. And um, I think we should create a no need to be shame for people who are undergoing, you know, who have, you know, who are, you know, uh, have mental health uh, issues. And it's not something we should hide from. Um, one thing we can't forget, however, is the impact on the family. Um, it's hard, you know, for those of you who have people, you know, who are going through, you know, mental health issues, you know, the impact on you, you know, the impact on the children, you know, the impact on the spouse or the, the significant other, you know, the impact on the parents, you know, the impact on the family. It's a lot. Um, but, uh, it's important that we continue to stand by and support people who have mental health, which is part of why I'm here today, uh, or what I'm here to do. Uh, today. Um, it's been two years, you know? You can't forget that love. Um, I loved Tamar with my entire heart. I loved her from day one with my entire heart. My heart, my body, my soul, my spirit. I loved her with everything I had. And I stood by her through thick and thin. I, uh, I went to bat for my girl, as a man should, no matter what. And I'll continue to do it today. Um, I'll continue to stand by Tamar, no matter what. But we can't forget the victims of something else. And those are the victims of the violence. Domestic violence happens to men. 40% and domestic violence occurs against men. I mean, this number is highly underreported. 30, 40, 50% of men don't report such, uh, 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 domestic abuse for a number of reasons. One is the police sometimes don't pay attention. How are you going to get beat up? The police don't pay attention. It's also a stigma. It's a stigma. You, you know, your wife hate you. Your wife is hating you. Your girl is hating you. It's a stigma in our society for a man to report that he's been abused. But there's a lot of men who are being abused. Every black man also carries a stigma of being an aggressor, an aggressive black man, somebody who, you know, you can't tame, somebody who's aggressive and... 
it's really sad. You know, I remember, you know, there was somebody who attacked Tamar uh, a few months ago. I thought very unfair uh, at the time and now uh, about, you know, something. It was a lady who attacked her on social media about something she did in her past with a, a guy who they said was married, which, you know, I, I still believe to be, you know, so not something that is true, uh, you know, despite what, what people say. Um, and I, 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 I got on her case. For the only thing, the only reason being, you can't attack what we're trying as uh, a people, black people in America, to overcome uh, racial injustice and uh, you know all the bad things that have happened to us. We can't be attacking each other. And when she attacked you know, Tamar, I came to her defense because I didn't believe it was right for one black woman to attack another black woman in America. We should stand together. So I'm going to make a pledge. I will not, I will not subscribe to that, us attacking each other. We must just speak the truth. We can't attack. I will never, never bring myself to, to attack Tamar or somebody I've spent so long with. I never will. It's just not something I will do. I'll speak the truth. And here's the truth. I've been a victim of domestic violence, domestic assault. I, uh, I was attacked. I was driving on high speed, uh, and I was attacked, a blow to my neck, my, my, uh, my jugular. Uh, for those of you who know about uh, medicine and the jugular, that's what carries blood to your, to your brain. When you're hit there, it discombobulates you. And uh, I was, I thought I was going to crash, you know, I had to, but I was driving fast. I had to call my mom. I called my mom, a 50 year old guy, having to call his mom when he's driving. And my mom started praying. Tim, I was in the car. My mom started praying um, only to find out that after the blow, I was being secretly recorded. Something that's illegal and unfair and the tapes being sent to my family. The tapes of me in distress, in pain, calling my mom, <laughs> were being sent to my family and other people. Um, um Um, anyway, my car was destroyed. I drive a Rolls Royce, many of you know, uh, almost $30,000 in damage. And, uh, I can't really continue to speak about this because, um, uh, the cops are involved. Uh, it's a criminal case. Uh, now uh, for the damage, you know, damage to the car, the taping, the, the, the assault. Uh, but I'll tell you something. Um, despite all that, and despite the fact that we're separated, um, and and we're you know we're you know we're pretty much over. I the love never goes away. I love Tema with to, from the bottom of my heart. I always have, and I will continue to. Um, no matter what she needs, I'll be there as a support for her. The way I've been from day one, whatever she needs, I'll be there. That's my promise. And I will not speak out, speak out ill against somebody I loved so much. I've always loved. So um, I want to end with one thing, a phrase, which was sent to me uh, by my, my cousin. And it was Exodus 14, 14. God will fight your battles. You only have to be silent. So I'm going to let the police case, you know, reach its logical conclusion. The courts reach their logical conclusion. Um, and I'm going to continue what I believe to be my mission, and that's to help people. And so I'll continue to do that. And that's what we're going to do today. But before I say that, I'm going to say one thing. 
um, about the, what was told about me grabbing or hitting uh, Tamar or anybody else. It's a complete and absolute falsehood. I have never, ever, ever, and never will, ever put my hand on a woman, ever. <laughs> 